Hey everyone, okay, I'm gonna try this how-to thing, okay? <laughs> I've never done a video like this, so bear with me, okay? I wanna show you how I print out my pictures for my uh, middle cards, my three by fours. So I'm gonna show you from step one on how I do it, okay? I have an Android, a Samsung, I think mine's a four. And so when you get your selfie, I have the 910 and this pops up. When you get your 910, it'll have uh, directions on how to uh, sync it with your phone. And they have you can sync it with your iPad also. So I, I, I have it on two places, So which is pretty cool. Um, don't worry about the text. I put it on my right. So I'm going to show you from step one, okay? So let's see. Um, if I can sync it by myself, you guys can sync it by yourselves, okay? So I don't, I don't remember how to do any of that stuff, but because um, I've had it for quite a bit. And I, I always think of products as if it broke today, would I buy another one in a heartbeat? So I know it's not a true four by six, so that, but that's okay with me. It doesn't bother me. And I've told you that in other videos. So let me get to it. What you're going to do is, uh, you're going to hit Canon EPP and your pictures are all going to pop up in your gallery. Okay. And then you will pick two pictures or, um, no. Okay. Scratch that. Let's go to pick collage. I use pick collage. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Sorry guys. Like I said, it's new to this pick collage. I bought the 99 cent app so I didn't have to get their watermark anymore. And, uh, so that was the best 99 cent purchase. This is easy for me to use the pick collage cause I am not tech savvy at all. So, um, all, and all your stuff that you pick that you, um, that you already have um, put together in a collage will stay there. So all you do is you says you say start new collage and this is what it'll look like. And then I'm trying to get, I'm changing my lighting system again. <laughs> so, cause the glare is just too extreme. So then you're going to see right here. I always, do I got it? Yes, right here. I always use this, the second one for the uh, middle, my three by fours. This is like exclusively, this is what I use. So you hit that and then the little boxes will pop up. Then what you do is you hit the screen and then it'll say background. And then I always choose white. That way I can see exactly how I want to mat it. And then you hit it again and then it'll say photos. So you hit the photos and then you choose which pictures you want. So I'll do like this one and I won't get too complicated with it. Well, the, you can't get complicated with it, so it's not a big deal. So then you, you choose two because th those were two boxes, right? Hopefully I'm not making you sick. Those are two boxes. Then you hit the two up here. You see where it says two, you hit that and then they'll pop up and then you touch it to move it around. And I think, you know, like that's super cute. And then this one is super cute, but so you can hit it and you can move them around. You can also um, throw them in the trash. And then if you don't want, you don't want to throw them in the trash, you hit it again and then it comes back down and then you can move it to cover half, whatever. And they'll print out like this. So you need to be careful with that. So then just hit it and I'm okay with not moving it in the picture, the size it is. So see how it has the white lines all around it. Well then, I'm okay with that. This is perfect. So then you hit this little button and it will say save. So you can upload it to anywhere you want, but I always save them. So hit save. Then they always have an ad. I can't pay for an ad to not have the ad, so I don't know, but either way. So then hit done. And now it'll be in your gallery. Okay, so it'll be in your gallery now. So you can get out of this. So oh, there it is. Okay, so get out of it, hit that button again, and then you're going to go to your Canon and then it'll be here. The collage will be at the end. Well, not that one. It'll be here at the end. I'm hitting the wrong side. I'm hitting this side over here. Let me pay attention. There we go. Okay, and then you hit print. And then you see where it says printer and then it says CP 910. That's what you're at. The border 
so you hit uh, bordered when I do mine if you hit bordered it has it uh, a different it has the white all around it and then what you do from here is you get out of this you go back to your settings you go to your settings and it'll say Wi-Fi I'm connected to our home Wi-Fi so right here it'll say um, CP910 do you see that okay right there and hit that and then you connect it you wait for it to connect right there and now it's connected okay now you go back to your Canon EPP and you have it all set up and then you hit print and it'll say image one of one and then now it'll print let me move this to the side a little and it's talking to each other so it says busy Nicole Jones 911 hers went really fast and I mine has never been fast so I don't know if it's something my internet connection I don't know what it is but mine takes a few minutes to to get going um, so this is normal for me and then it goes out once so make sure there's nothing around it okay make sure there's absolutely I'm gonna turn it real quick make sure there is nothing um, in its you see how it goes out make sure nothing is in its way mine is mine is like a year old now so oh wait is it a year old now I don't think it is but it's it's a workhorse I put it through the ringer because I I um, take pictures exclusively with my phone so I don't do anything else but with my phone and then I always use this except for that one time I used persnickety and that is it so everything else I print out so this is a workhorse and it does its job for me if it wasn't if I didn't have this I wouldn't do project life as truth be told because it's too too much of a pain in the butt so you get it like this okay and it says print status and you're like okay I'm done you can print more if you want more but you don't need to see how easy that was so then now your pictures came out like this so now they are little blocks and what I end up doing is hold on one sec is I get mine I'll move this out of the way a little bit and I see my little white my little border can you see that my little borders right here this the, the dark spot of the picture so I line it up with the edge of this thing and when I do that when I line it up I get a perfect little white space around it I like the white space I don't know why but I do and the only time I don't have the white space is if I screw it up so you know I got too close to the edge or something that is the only reason why I would not have the white space but I like it and so it's cool so I'm gonna cut this out for you and that way you can see and do I have any cards around me I just started filming you guys because I'm like oh let's just do it <laughs> so I'm like let's just do it yeah, I have a three by four card. So you see, that is how I get my little pictures. I love it because I love decorating all around it. So, and then if you have a four by six, you know, you have a full picture. When you print out with the border, this is what you get. So you get even less than a four by six. What is size is this? Um, where did my little thingy go? Oh, okay. It's uh, it prints out a little smaller. So do you see that? So it prints out where you can still decorate your your edges, and I think that's pretty cool. So sometimes I'll do this. I'll I'll cut it down also because uh, if if I want to use a four by six card, if I want to use that instead, then that is what I will um I'll I'll have it um print without. With the border, no, without a border. So in order to get this, you you hit the other one that said print without border, which is go back here and then let's just say I'll use that and you see where it says bordered. Now if you hit borderless, see how it pops up? Borderless. Did you guys see that? See, so if it says borderless CP copies and you can you can change as many copies as you want which is cool and then you hit print and that will that will be what it prints out with uh, no with the bordered so this one was bordered and then a borderless is the one I always use which is like this you you have you have no white around it whatsoever so there won't be any any white so this is um, 
borderless and this is bordered so that that's how I do mine I do it with pit collage you guys so hopefully that helps you I don't know <laughs> and hopefully I explained it all correctly but th that is this is the size I do in order to get this so yeah I think I'm good <laughs> thank you guys so much and uh, hopefully I'll be back with an um, album share I'm gonna do an album share just in case you don't want to go through all my videos to watch or hear me um, in each video but you rather just see the completed album so I will do that I don't know if it'll be today but we're leaving tomorrow morning so uh, if not it'll be at the end of the week so thank you guys have a great weekend bye